Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial. That's what it is. Let's just call it what it is. Um, pertaining to our EDTA tubes. Now, I've always gone over the, EDT, the EDTA tubes as far as the lavender and the pink top, but I very rarely talk about the tan top because it's one that we don't use a lot. Now, in primary care internal med, um, the tan top is used mostly to detect um, if someone has been exposed to lead. So yes, it does have EDTA in it. And like I, tell, like I always like to remind you guys is no matter where you end up, please, please, please become familiar with the protocol in your facility. Just be aware of the protocol where you are. Because as I've mentioned in the past as well, a, go, a green top and a gold top can mean the same thing in some places as opposed to where I am. Does that make sense? So both of these tubes could probably go to chemistry in, say, your primary care physician's office. And if you go, they may use the gold top when you go instead of the green top, but they're running chemistries off of the gold and the green. So to make more sense of what I'm trying to say is, the facility where I am, we collect our chemistries in a green top. But when I go see my primary care physician, I notice that they collect my chemistries in a gold top. So you're going to have to be careful and mindful and remember what your facilities, policies, and procedures are. And don't forget that also the SST speckled tiger top, what we used to call it, the 10 ml yields serum and it is a serum separator tube just like the gold top. So if you go to your primary care physician's office and they're collecting your chemistries in either one of these top these tubes it's okay so remember these both are serum separator tubes and you can see the gel there in the bottom so to get back to what I was going to talk about initially are the EDTA tubes someone was asking me if the doctor orders a CBC a A1C and uh, I think that's all they said would you need to draw a pink top, a, a lavender top, and a, a, well, a lavender, a pearl, and a tan. And to answer your question, that's no, in O, oh, for our facility anyway. But like I said, you will never use a tan top tube for a CBC or anything that's going to hematology. This tube is going to yield uh, whole blood and yeah, it's not going to go to hematology, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't drawn one or pulled one in so long, but I do know for us it's it detects lead, exposure to lead for a patient. So back to the lavender top, you're going to draw a lavender top for your CBC, and if your facility needs the A1C to be collected in a second lavender top, you will be collecting two lavender tops. You're gonna to have one for your CBC and you're gonna have one for your A1C, but never a tan top for neither one of those tests. Your pink top, for us, we mostly use this test for blood bank. That's its primary purpose, but we will collect other tests in it as well, but not a lead specimen. So yes, I hope that answers your question. If you have any more questions about the lavender top, the pearl top, um, and the tan top, I did say pearl because the pearl has um, a form of EDTA in it as well. But again, CBC goes in one and your A1C goes in another because the A1C is going to be sent to special chemistry. And that's our lab here where I work. So make sure that your procedure is the same or if it's different, just make sure you are aware of the differences. So yes, CBC needs one and your A1C will need another, but they both go in your lavender top tubes. So yes, I hope that helps. I hope I clarified that for you. Let me know in the comment section um, about the tan top tube if you guys are familiar with it. And um, 
Yeah, what do you think about the lavenders with the A1C and the CBC? Do you guys collect two for those as well? Let me know that so that we can um, go over it again in another video or e even during a live stream if you guys um, want to do that because we seem to do pretty well networking when we go live. So thumbs up this video if you like it, share, comment. For those of you who are new, thank you so, so much for coming through. This is not my typical video for the morning, but this is what I have for today. Just a little quick surprise, something different. And um, let me know if you like it. Turn your notification bells on, please, so you don't miss an upload and you don't miss a live as well. And if I don't see you guys later this afternoon, I will see you guys in the morning. But hopefully I'll be back. I'll see you then. Bye.